Well, first of all, Elvin will put his crossbow away that we was apparently hugging still. <laughs> I recommended you. <laughs> He's like rocking back and forth, just like compensation, compensation. <laughs> like gently stroking it. Like, I will have my, my precious. <laughs> I will have my money, oh yes. <laughs> One way or the other. Isn't that right, Crossy? <laughs> Crossy? <laughs> <sighs> I love this session already. I'm happy for that. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, unless something worth payments coming up, we are leaving very soon. Sandpoint. Oh, we are. I've had enough of. I've had enough of just staying here and enduring all this. Well. We've had a lot of stuff. <laughs> huh. Where do you suppose we head off to then? We'll continue... Well, the rest of us were going to Magma when we first arrived here. So, we'll go that oh. way. Alright. Hmm. You okay with that roller? Yeah, I'm fine. I should be able to be okay. As long as uh, Aronoff keeps Garrett in check. I will. <laughs> you sure. see that now. If he does anything like this again, I will banish him. And the animals looks to his shoulder. Oh, <laughs> can be heard from the shoulder. <laughs> it sounds. It sounds like. It sounds like Garrett doesn't have much more life left of them. No. But he knew the deal. And then you okay with leaving Wing Sandpoint to get some actual paying jobs? <sighs> as long as there are no ghosts. I really can't guarantee no ghosts. Mm, well, well, payment is always something, I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess I've stayed here for long enough. So, of course, before we can even think of leaving, we need Salora back. Ah, yes, of course. Well, I'm sure Salora won't mind. I mean, most of the group's happy to leave, but uh, he seems to be spending a lot of time with... Uh, the, the, that strange one. Well, stranger than Floro, if that's possible. It is. I guess. Like, Aaron's like, literally thinking about this. You mean the old man? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of strange. That could be worse, I guess. Everyone casually drinks whatever he has been given. Um, seems to be some uh, summer wine from the south. It's quite tasty. Everyone enjoy it in that case. Tasty wine, tasty wine. I will not offer any doubt. <laughs> <laughs> You've already I probably had some, but you know. <laughs> I have like, like seven bottles in my bag, so it's fine. <laughs> I thought you said seven bottles in front of you. <laughs> I am, I am, I'm off my tits already. I don't know. It's <laughs> Too empty. <laughs> Five to go. <laughs> Does this store have a wine? Does this place have a wine store for him? Uh, he needs it. You, you mean a shop? Yeah, it's a shop that just sells wine. Um, no. Uh, Sandpoint does not does not actually have a, a wine shop as such. We we'll have to uh, go to Magmar and get pick it up for him. There are some, you know, usually uh, usually during market days or something like that. There, there will be merchants selling, um, but they usually import it from Magmar or Corvosa in the east. Good to note for the, for this winter discontent. <laughs> epic destiny acquire wine. <laughs> wine maker, epic destiny. <laughs> Roldar's nemesis. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a good it's a good enemy for all the winemaker or the wine golem mm, it's made out of wine <laughs> purple <laughs> wine mm. as I said roll Tars nemesis yeah. Yeah. purple wine purple wine wine yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah I'm making a note here <laughs> hopefully it's a huge success ah ah uh.
Well, uh, Ameko arrives, you know, uh, at the tail end of the dinner and reports that baths are prepared for uh, for the party. You know, uh, so they can enjoy them in um, well their respective rooms. There is there's one tub in each room, uh, and also there are some barrels prepared uh, out back with hot Roll water. <laughs> Roldar just goes out back. <laughs> he knows where he's needed. Yep. Thank you, Ameko. Thank you, Ameko. It's uh, as much for my sake as for you for yours because I don't know if you notice, but you stink. Yeah, we noticed. When when we're when we're traveling for such a long time, what can you expect? She nods. Hmm. Is there another bath available somewhere? Uh, yeah, yeah. There is a barrel. One more barrel outside. A barrel. <laughs> well, I guess Evan will have to make do. You'll think. <laughs> as long as it isn't too big. No, it's a uh, it's a it's a it's a small sized barrel. A small sized barrel. A gnome sized barrel. Yep, a gnome barrel. <laughs> Steam driven. Well, that's one way to heat your water. Yeah, exactly. One, one would say that steam is heated water. That's preposterous. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of arcane science is this? So how how does your characters feel um, taking a bath after all of this? Relaxed. <laughs> well, very rel- better. Very relieved that what seems to be at least a source of this massive problem is now hopefully dealt with. <laughs> Roldar has now somehow acquired a gnomish toy duck. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, toot, it goes toot. Toot, toot. <laughs> <laughs> You're just splashing away in the water with it. Uh, was it made of? Uh, cow guts. Oh. Hmm. Fancy. <laughs> or made out of duck guts. It's hard to tell. I was gonna say sheep intestines, but yeah. <laughs> How does uh, SMW think about this sheep intestine duck? Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what to think about it. Sheep intestine duck, yeah. Well, if you ask Roldar, he'll think it's made out of sheep intestine. <laughs> or cow gut. Maybe cat gut. Oh, cat gut's stringy. Okay, Elvin will turn to Roldar and whisper, Hey, maybe you shouldn't play with that. Why not? It needs a bath too. I think it's made out of people. <laughs> <laughs> Roldar squeezes it. It gives off a squeak. No, it, it, it's, it's ducky. It's a people duck. Oh, if that's... Hey, Roldar tosses over to Alvin. <laughs> Evan will quietly giggle, making sure that Roldar doesn't see that he is obviously being told complete bullshit. So and Elvin definitely duck. feels better. It's, it's now... You, you can play with it too. It's a people duck. Yeah. Hey, Alvin now has a toy duck. <laughs> yeah, Alvin the, doesn't need a toy duck. The gut duck soars through uh, through the air and lands uh, with a <laughs> uh, with a splash in uh, Alvin's barrel. Amigo just hears the sound of sound of the toy duck splashing back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> damn it, the people's duck. Yeah, the communist. <laughs> the people's duck. <laughs> Is it like a new? Is it like a new party? <laughs> yes, the people stuck. Socialist rolled art. No, no, I have had my fun. No, no it's your turn. Exactly. Evan will start. take the people stuck, and whenever <laughs> Roller isn't looking to, uh, towards him, he will throw it at Roller and hope to hit his head. All right, make a ranged uh, basic attack against Roller. You dare misuse the people stuck? Uh, you have combat advantage. <laughs> AC. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It has to beat a twenty-two. I would or say that Roller probably doesn't have his armor on. I say on you have your armor on? You, you have your shield <laughs> equipped in the, in the, in the barrel? <laughs> in the barrel, yeah. I see. <laughs> no, the shield's not on the barrel. Aww. It's a mess anyway! <laughs> Roller just ducks underwater for a second, it just flies right over. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have taken six lightning damage, apparently. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, hey That's now. That's one duck. So, so describe what Roller sees that you know allow him to to evade a duck here. 
Oh, wait a minute. What's that at the bottom of the barrel? <laughs> As a tidal wave of soapy water sort of overflows as Rollo dives underneath. <laughs> yeah, the duck soars past and lands in the grass. So in Roldar sits up and he says, Hey, look what I found. I found its beak. <laughs> Edwin doesn't even know how to respond. You found the duck's beak. Yeah, must have fell off. Here, have it. <laughs> Rolled our tosses it at Alvin. Okay. Oh, said it's a people's duck. You can have the parts too. The um, beak soars through the uh, the air and lands uh, next to Alvin in the water. It looks like it's made of wood. By now, Alvin has managed to to convince himself that the deck duck is indeed made of people, so he's quite disgusted at the beak for no reason. <laughs> and he will toss it behind him. Okay. And try to enjoy his bath some more. <laughs> uh, the door, back door opens, and Bathana, you know, it makes her way out with a huge kettle with you know, steaming water, and she looks around, anyone needs more water? Elvin yeah. will raise a hand. Roll over. Roll him. <laughs> Roll over will probably look at his and just sort of raise his as well. Like, for some reason, the water's disappeared and the market's ground. There's a lot of wet and dirt. <laughs> um, but Thelma smiles at Elvin as she pours the water in. We take five five. <laughs> and, uh, she steps over here and uh, tries tries to top Roldar's barrel off, but uh, and that is a lot of water has gone missing. So bit more, bit more. Keep going. What do you mean you've not got any more? Oh, she, oh okay, me too. <laughs> she shakes her head in dismay. I am so, sorry, Roldar, but uh, I'll try to get more. Oh, okay, thank you. She hurries inside again. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, uh, Erwin can notice that there seems to be a replacement window. <laughs> and that the crossbow is actually no longer aimed at the window, it just lies on the on the on the table. Okay, stupid crossbow is no longer gonna kill someone. Nope. Erwin will look out the window, think for a while. The town seems to be quite uh, quite quiet this evening. Um, not many people moving about. Those people that Ervin does see seem to be on a hurry, in a hurry somewhere, or as if you know they fear the dark. Um, are the shops still open? Uh, no, not not at this point. Ah. But you can certainly visit them tomorrow. Arnos will um, wash his clothes a bit as well. Sure. <laughs> After Roller's done with his bath, he'll head in to go and get some the shut eye. Thank Bethina for the water and stuff. Oh, of course. Hmm. The uh, the evening is quiet. The, and eventually, uh, Evan will. Erwin is not in his room. His room as well. Did you jump outside? Uh, Erwin is not in the room. Uh, it's uh, doubtful if Roldar actually notices this um, when he walks in. Roldar wasn't looking for uh, Erwin. He's good. He's happy. He's just like. He just wants to go to bed. Elvin isn't looking for him either, but he might notice the replacement window and decide to investigate it for a minute. <laughs> Just because it seems interesting for some reason. Sure, you can, you can roll a perception check on the window. Aha, a uh -huh. window. Hmm. Reveal your mysteries to me, window. Um, it seems to be a well-made window. 
Does he notice any cracks in the window? <laughs> no, there are no cracks in the window. Uh, he does notice, however, that you know the, the moon is coming up outside and uh, it's casting its silver light over the town. And uh, he does notice that um, there seems to be a humanoid-shaped shadow being cast from atop the roof of the rusty dragon. You can see it down on the street while looking below. Humanoid shadow. Elvin will walk closer and try to find what or who is casting that shadow. Seems to be someone on the roof. Someone. Hmm. Or something. Something. Yeah. Elvin will try to open the window. Shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> The you can see her from the other side of the building. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, the um, the window opens without a hitch. And can I get a bit closer and maybe then see something more? Sure. Because I'm very tempted to indeed shoot at it. <laughs> uh, Alvin can try to sort of hang out from the window and look up. Uh, can you make an acrobatic check? Sure. You fall to the bottom floor. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah, you you have no problem whatsoever to do this little stunt. Um, so, so Alan basically, you know, does a bit of acrobatic magic and can sort of hang out from the window and peek up on the roof. And he sees that the uh, you know the the shadow in the moonlight um, actually gives way. Because, well, Alvin has dark vision too, I believe. Uh, um, low light vision. Low light vision. All right, no problem then. He uh, recognizes that it is Ervin that is sitting on the roof, seemingly looking out over the town. Hmm. Uh, DDS, we can actually describe how Ervin looks sitting on the roof. Ervin is just sitting cross legged on the roof, probably looking in a direction facing probably the side of the town that has the sea on it. And he's just sitting there, you know, not moving at all, just. Just his golden hair, just like blowing in the breeze. For once, actually, just looking like very restful, not actually, you know, not thinking about anything. Just very calm and, yeah. He would have not noticed Alvin. He would. He would probably look in opposite direction. So. Well, then Alvin would climb back in, close the window, and shrug because he doesn't really care about people. Lock it. <laughs> Oh. Lock it! Lock it! <laughs> Why didn't nah. open the window to get out, so... <laughs> that you mean. He will close the window as he would normally, but he will not try to intentionally make it hard to open or lock it completely. And then he will head, to back, uh, head back to bed and probably just sleep. You hear a knock on the door. Yeah, there's a knock on the door. Hmm, I guess Elvin won't sleep, which makes him somewhat <laughs> irritated. So he will open the door and see Aranos, apparently. Hello. Uh, there was some information I wanted to share with all of you. If uh, well, Rhoda seems already asleep, and Aravan is on the roof for some reason, and, well, it might not be the best time to share information with the party. Hmm. As Oh, yes, yes, Apparently, yes, um, there was some chaos anyway question. with the with the refugees. Apparently, some people got sick. It might be important. But what kind of chaos? Uh, apparently, some uh, of the refugees got sick, and there was a panic because the, maybe the people thought uh, they would turn into ghouls or something like that. It's my guess. Uh, anyway. Okay, I guess that's important, but I think it can wait until tomorrow. Yes, but I, I figured I would just tell Erwin so he doesn't get mad if I tell him tomorrow and uh, yeah, if he wanted me to tell him now. Uh, so. Well, if you want to tell him, uh, Erwin will point at the window. Yes, and uh, Arnos will uh, open the window. So where is he exactly? And just point the finger out. Well, on the roof. This building only has one roof. Yes, but it's, on the roof? <laughs> it's a large roof. <laughs> Well, some somewhere on the roof. Let me let me see. <laughs> over there, right, right over there, somewhere. Right. Just fly up there and look or something. You're a sorcerer. I'm sure you can manage. Uh, I could actually do that, but uh, Arnos just. Uh, you shouts. could take the gnome with you. 
<laughs> I can show you those worlds. <laughs> let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Uh, not again. God, <laughs> Will uh, Alvin be Aronos' princess? No. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, no, Ar- Don't worry, the stupid crossbow can come I, I, have to re- <laughs> I have to rewrite my slash fiction then. Damn it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Go on. Mm. Aronos just uh, shouts out of the window, Oh, man, where are you? Is that why you got rolled up? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but it certainly won't will make sure that Elvin still can't sleep. <laughs> you can wait a few minutes. <laughs> Elvin's head just slowly turns around, looks down at the window. Elvin rotates his body so he can see. He will carefully come over so he's closer to you so you, you could talk about having to shout at 50 miles. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there was some information that um, Amiko told me about that I thought I would just uh, share with you before we, we sleep. And um, apparently some of the refugees got sick and uh, there was a panic in the refugee camp. What kind of panic? Violent? Or just... Uh, she was not uh, sure, but um, apparently the sheriff and his men handled it. But um, they... Um, or they were going to handle it, and they might be gone, gone for a couple of days. Uh, they might have okay. turned into ghouls, was my idea. And that, that is not very good. Do you, have, do you know, have any idea of what the symptoms were the people were experiencing? No, Amiko didn't even give me any details. Well, I, we could ask her, but yeah. We can find out tomorrow, maybe. All right. If there, are, if, there, if there are ghouls, well, with everyone being so packed together, there's nothing we could do anyway. Well, the sooner we deal with it, the better, but... Yeah. There is, there's nothing we could do. But, but if there were, if anyone was, if anyone did turn into a ghoul, they would have, they could quite easily cause problems if they hadn't been already checked. So, mm-hmm. I'm not sure what to say. Well, so anyway, yeah. That's anyway... I'm sure the others won't rest right now. Yes, I think so too. Well, I'm uh, heading off to bed. Are you gonna stay up on the roof? I'll come down when I'm ready. Alright, I'll keep the window open then. Everyone will return to the other side of the roof where you can get a better view. <laughs> Just leaving you at the window still. And your shoulder feels lighter, apparently. <laughs> Arnos is still sta- staying there, you know, looking out through the window over the town. You know, all you can see is probably Erebin's silhouette. Hello? Uh, I may have crashed, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well. Because I'm in my bed right now. Oh, no. Um, no you're, you're not there on my end. <laughs> no, I'm uh, I, I can't tell what you're saying. Uh, yeah, disconnected. <laughs> Alright, well, try to uh, see if we need to kick you out. Everyone else jumps oh, out of the window. <laughs> Singing, Singing, for some I reason. Through as Through the wall. <laughs> I mean, I know my teleport's impressive, but that is better. <laughs> it is. It's pretty good. All right. The party rests and sleeps. And I do come inside before the um, end of the sleep. Yeah, before right. I rest. I don't, I don't meditate on the roof. All right. Fantastic. Oops, I'm, I'm stunned, apparently. <laughs> you stunned uh, yourself to sleep. <laughs> Too much noise. That is very sleepy. There we go. All right. The uh, the night passes without much incident, and the uh, the party awakes on day two. I would have been out there for 
I would have been out there for actually probably a few hours, actually. So someone else could probably wake up before me. For once. Hmm. Ah, oh, that was a good sleep. Oh, yeah. The first time in ages you see Erevin still meditating on the bed. Probably the first time he's ever seen Erevin sleeping or meditating. Or one of the first times. Is Gareth sleeping next to me? The, maybe, you don't know. <laughs> God damn it. Who knows what he's doing when you're sleeping? Mm. <laughs> Sitting on Roldar's face. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't go that far away, actually. Teabagging Roldar while he's sleeping all the time. I don't know. How far up? I mean, if you're considering the fact that that's vertical. I mean, Sarah, I'm assuming it's like vertical from us, more or less. So. And um, as long as he's in passive mode, he can't go away from me. Mm. And I don't want to risk turning him into active mode when I'm sleeping. Roller walks away with not even paying attention to Amika. <laughs> oh, he gives her a wave. She waves back. Roller's off for an early morning jog. All right. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, breakfast is prepared as, you know, I don't know, steps out. Amiko seems to have the uh, sleeping patterns of the party, you know, quite down to. <laughs> All right. So is it already on the table? or? Yeah. It's already on the table. Oh. Well, thank you. I, I guess it'd be an extra one because mine would normally be there. But <laughs> yes. And I'll sit down and eat. Certainly. The gnome rolls down the stairs. <laughs> Tumble. Woo! And Evan will eat as well. And he looks significantly more relaxed and refreshed after his his encounter with the ghost. Now he's he's back to normal pretty much. Oh, so you don't need pain, that's good. <laughs> and not just uh, nods at you. What do you think? Evan nods back. He might be back to normal, but he's still not up for much conversation. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yes, uh, Roller runs through the streets. It's it is a um, most calm and uh, and uh, refreshing morning, and uh, you know Roller passes by many shops that are opening up and uh, many people walking around. Although still there there is uh, quite the amount of tension in the air. Um, does Roller perchance run by that woman that he said, hey, how you doing before? <laughs> sure. Uh, Roldar uh, actually sees her opening up uh, what seems to be a pie shop. Hmm. Roldar will purposely give a sort of little salute as he runs by <laughs> to her. She blinks uh, in, in, in confusion for a, uh, for a few seconds and then sort of carefully gives a half wave back. <laughs> Rolls our chocolates to himself as he keeps jogging. Ah, oh, silly humans. So silly. Erevan uh, slowly walks yeah. downstairs. <clears throat> and Erevan, after quite quickly finishing his breakfast, will head out as well. He wants to wants to take a look around town to see how things actually are. If if Aranos is right and there's like chaos and riots, it might not be such a good idea to stay in Sandpoint much longer. And regardless, it's there's a big difference between not really caring for other people's personal, li per personal lives, like Elvin usually doesn't at all, and being oblivious to things that happen around him. So he will just walk around town, see what he sees, Try to get a good good view of the situation. Certainly. And over here. 
Um, there isn't really any, you know, it's not open riots on the streets. Um, but, you know, For your eternal disappointment. <laughs> maybe, if he still has Crossy with him. Um, <laughs> he never leaves home without Crossy. Exactly. <sighs> um, and yeah, th there are like, you know, quite the... Has had quite a tension in there, but he seems to be very careful. And although seeing Alvin, and he seems to you know recognize him and, and give him a wave as he passes by. Alvin frowns. He's not really used to much attention, and he doesn't really like attention. But I guess he will reluctantly wave back. At least they are. At least it's a good kind of attention, and not the "I want to murder your attention." <laughs> The attention he usually gets. All right. And uh, did Erwin want anything special more with Tomenko? Uh, when Erwin arrives at the bar, bar, he will go ahead and you know greet. He will greet Tomenko. <coughs> just check how she's doing, that kind of thing. As a first thing. Sure. Oh, she seems to be doing fine. He will then, you know, just go ahead. Um, no, we'll just we'll just go ahead, makes a bit of friendly conversation before going to his table. Yep, she is as uh, friendly as always, and uh, indicates that breakfast is already served. <laughs> 